Welcome to the Art Ladies Home. Today I'm going to be refinishing this concrete rabbit that I purchased at an estate sale. And I'm going to bring back to its original concrete color. Um, I'm going to uh, try and emphasize the gorgeous textures of this concrete statue here because um, it does have a lot of texture into in the concrete that I want to bring out. Um, and I basically just want to make it look more natural. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a light base coat of uh, some gray and then I'm going to bring in some other colors. And I um, went into my garage and I found some different spray paints and I'll uh, list the colors that I actually use. I'm going to treat this as a uh, kind of like as a as an oil painting as I would do an oil painting and I'm just going to layer the colors. Uh, most of it I'm not going to use uh, spraying. I'm going to put in a, a paper plate and I'm going to be using some old rags to actually rub on the colors. Old rags and brushes. Um, so I'm going to treat it almost like a painting as I layer the colors and blend them into the statue. I want it to look very natural and I don't want it to look like it's a spray painted um, rabbit or concrete statue. So I'm going to try and bring back those natural colors to it. Okay, what I'm doing now is I've sprayed several colors into this paper plate and I'm going to be rubbing in some lighter values on top now and this paint is still wet the primer I gave, gave it a light base coat of primer and now I'm just kind of pulling in first of all I'm doing some white right now or actually it's a cream color and I'm bringing in some of those highlights here and I'm just using the rag and I'm rubbing it on top and I kept the original underneath here so I can kind of match those colors um, the original Patima. So I'm bringing some white color on top and I do want to have a hint of this turquoise that I'm layering in here as well and I'm just kind of rubbing it in and uh, kind of blending it kind of like I would do a sponge paint on a wall and then I'll give some darker areas for shadow underneath in the cracks here and I'm just dabbing and blending right on top of that spray paint and what I did was I hit it very lightly with a gray and it just happened to be a primer I had in my garage um, and I'm dabbing just as I see the colors and I want to do the darker like I said in the cracky areas and then I'm doing the whiter cream color I'll hit the highlight of the eye with cream and I'm kind of just dabbing and sponging it on and it's really actually looking quite beautiful like this and that's what I'm going to continue doing let me show you on the back here if I can move him a little bit. It's kind of hard to move where I haven't done yet. Let's see on this side here. So I'm going to take some of my darker value coppers and I'm kind of just rubbing it in the cracks here. And then I'm rubbing off with the cleaner section. And if you can see what it does, it kind of pulls off some of that paint and makes it look, gives it that dark brown color. The dark brown is showing through a little bit as I rub off. So I'm going to put a little bit of turquoise and lighter colors now dabbing on top. And it's picking up all those beautiful cracks. It's taking the harshness off of the, off the dark brown and giving it some two different two-tone values. Let me pull up some. Now in the palette that I have here, I don't use much. I've got to reapply now this cream, and this is actually called Lovely Buff. And I just spray it in here. I don't want to get my camera. I spray just a few shots into the palette, and then using my cloth, you can see all the different colors in here. And it's all the rust colors. It's the darker rust, and a lighter value copper, and then a, um, a turquoise, which is a very hint. It's called Secluded Garden turquoise by Valspar and now I'm going to just lightly hit and kind of dab it I'm just dabbing dab get more of that cream on there dab and then rub it a little bit as it dries in it and I like working this way this wet uh, oh, it needs a little bit of darker in these cracks here so filling in with the darker copper 
I'm rubbing it into the cracks now because I lost some of that. And now I'm going to bring that creamy buff back, hit it lightly on top of the creamy buff. And this is how I'm gonna work him the entire rabbit. And I'll show you once I am finished. Now I'm taking an oil-based glazing medium and you can use an acrylic base if you'd like. I just prefer this oil-based one. And I'm rubbing it all over. I like it oil the oil base because it lasts longer. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean cloth and you work up small sections at a time. And then I'm going to take a clean cloth and rub it all off. And what it does is it goes into all the cracks to accentuate all of the detail of the bunny. And it's basically that simple. Brush it on very heavy and rub it off. And then it gives it this just gorgeous, kind of patinaed, antique feel to it. And let's look up underneath here and you can see underneath the chin some of that original. And those are the colors I'm trying to match is what was the natural aged concrete and then I did a hint of the teal with this so that it could just bring a little bit of color to the garden and once I finish this I'll show you the completed uh, rabbit with the antiquing glaze. Um, now that I've applied the glazing medium I've wiped it off now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, bring back some of the white highlights or actually it's that creamy, beautiful, buffy highlights. So I'm just gonna dab and rub in lightly where he needs a little bit of lighter values. It's basically just an artist's eye as to how you see it. But I kind of do the highlights. I'm highlighting where it's, where it's going down, that's the crack, so that's gonna be darker. And where it is the highest point, I'm gonna just dab in some of that light buff color it was a lovely buff. So I'm dabbing, dabbing in that. Let me see if I can show you on the arm here where it's the highest point where the sun is hitting just to give more definition because right now I have just medium values and I want to bring out, let me show you on that arm, some of the lighter right here and it makes a difference. I'm keeping the dark in the cracks and I want some bright, bright buff color not rubbing in too, too much. And that's how I'm gonna add my highlights. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that all. And then I'm going to clear coat, spray it with a matte clear coat uh, to finish it off. And he will be done. And there is the completed bunny sitting on my little step. And I really like the way he, he came out with bits of turquoise very you barely even notice the turquoise if you look close you can see a little bit of it but it just gives it that nice aged concrete look and he blends naturally into the garden he doesn't look so stark and ugly anymore like that brown when I got him He's a sweet little thing. And I think I only paid 12 bucks for him at a little yard sale. 